Alright guys, hey hey hey, I'm back again with another Fishing Planet tutorial. On this episode, I'm going to cover the white, the lake trout in White Moose Lake. So, at day one, well, first off, you're going to make sure, you're going to want to make sure that you're at peak time. So, day one, you can see my cursor's right over it, you're going to want to fish for, um, five or you'll get best fishing from 5 a.m to about 10 a.m and then 5 p.m to 9 p.m lake trout don't bite at night they sleep kind of like the stri striped bass there's really no fish in white moose lake that is active during nighttime and then day two you could just primarily fish all throughout the day you can fish from like 5 until 7 p.m it's great fishing so as you can see, I got the peak times covered. Again, you're going to want to, on mountain and valley peaks like this, you're going to want to fish from 5 to 9 a.m. and then, and then 5 to 9 p.m. And then for the setup that I'm using, you don't have to use the same exact setup. I'm using the Galaxy Cast 8 foot 6 inch with a Vortex 6000 reel max drag 38 pounds or 30 pounds I'm using 0.11 braid 30 pound test and then a fluorocarbon 35 33 pound leader and then for the most important thing the lure these these lake trout love lures they will not bite on anything else except lures it's weird but for the lures, here, let me go to my little casting spoon section, and you're going to want to use a medium spoon, one and a half ounce, with a four-out hook. You can use red and yellow. I would use, I would use red, I would use red first or vice versa, and then if the bite slows down, then switch to whatever color you are not using so if you're using red you're going to want to switch to yellow when the bite slows down if you're using yellow you're going to want to switch to red and that again is one and a half ounce medium spoon four out hook i'm going to put the red on there I, I just have a better feeling about that one now you if you're on an xp crunch you can use a lighter rod i can reel these fish in with the loki eight foot eight foot ten inch and it's a 26 pound setup so i got the loki eight foot 8 foot 10 rod or spinning rod then the hornet swarm 6000 reel for 24 ma 24 pounds max drag then again with the braid ele braid 011 30 pound it, it, I, I tend to put stronger line than I would need just so I can be safe and turn that make sure that they won't spool me out and then 28 pound fluorocarbon leader and then the same lure so I'm going to actually start with a Loki 8 foot 6 that's better XP. You get better XP with lighter rods. So if you're on an XP crunch, I would use the Loki 8 foot 8 8 foot 6 inch and then if you're just looking for like for fun and to reel them in quickly like you're on a money money crunch then we could just reel them in as soon as you took them. Going to want to use the Galaxy Cla Galaxy cast and I don't know if you guys can see it, but there's this little marker float out in the water. I, You guys probably won't have that unless if you have been here before, or if someone has shared a marker with you. But, you're going to spawn... Hold on, let me walk over here. You're going to spawn right here. You're going to choose the fisherman's hut peg. You're going to spawn right here. You just want to do a full... Come on this dock. And anywhere from here all the way over to here you can stand. I like to stand here. I don't know why. It's just my preferred spot. And then, like I said, the marker won't be there for you unless if you have a marker shared with you or if you put one down. When I first got here, I put one down. So basically, you're going to want to cast uh, about half to half to 95%. The Loki casts really far. As you can see, 209 feet. So I don't tend to cast all of the line out that I have full power for the retrieve you're going to want to use either straight and slow on two speed or stop and go on three or stop and go on two speed 
and lift and drop I'm pretty sure works I don't know how to really do lift and drop but I know how to do uh, stop and go and straight and slow and those are all going to be on two speed the only one that you're not going to know that all all of the retrieves I'm showing are going to be on two speed and then twitching is another one where you just kind of like pull the rod up and down and then it kind of twitches the lure I would mix those up I would do one cast like stop and go one cast twitching one cast straight and slow so kind of just mix it up so the trout don't un so the trout don't get what you're doing. Now, if you're fishing for the first time in the day, it kind of 95% of the time will take a little while for you to get that first bite. So don't get discouraged, guys, when you're not getting a bite right after you throw your rod out in the water. You're going to have you're going to probably have to make like there we go, got one. So anywhere from the second to like fifth cast, you'll probably get one and then these lake trout really don't fight. I have my max drag up all the way, and I wouldn't do that if I were you, because you have to have a stronger rod than reel and stronger line than the drag you're putting on the fish. So I have all 24 pounds of drag on them right now. Now, I'm going to keep it that way, but I recommend you guys don't, unless if you're using the same exact setup, setup as me. And these do get up to unique sizes. They do get up to 40 pounds, so be prepared for a fight if you do hook in a unique. And this one's fighting a lot, so it might be a trophy or hell, even a unique. That's nice. Oh, he's really fighting. Okay. Now another tip on fighting fish is when they're running, running is like when they pull out line like he's doing right now, don't reel in. If you reel in, he'll just go faster. He'll just, it'll make it easier for him to pull out the line and he'll go faster. So when he's running, don't reel and when the tension drops enough, then you start reeling. And these trout are fast swimmers, so they will sometimes dart towards you and you will lose line tension and you want to make sure, like there, see? You want to want to make sure that you don't get all the way to the bottom of the green bar or the blue green red bars because if you do then it'll probably unhook itself it'll spit the hook but this is a pretty good side zone Now, as you guys have probably noticed, I haven't been uploading every day. That's be- whoa, whoa, see? Like, right there. Don't let them dart towards you. But uh, as I was saying, um, you guys have probably noticed that my uploads have been kind of inconsistent over the last month. That's because I've been caught up in high school. I'm 14 and I- in ninth, in ninth grade, and it's really- takes up a lot of my schedule. So, I'm uploading as much as I can because I have homework and school and just- general stuff in my life mixed in so I'm uploading as much as I can guys I just want to thank you guys for all your support thank you for one 1600 views on my Amazonian maze video and then thank you for 30 32 subscribers I'm pretty sure Oh god, I really hope this fish comes in soon because my headphones are almost dead. Gotta get my charger. Come on there, buddy. Come here. There we go. Got him in. Oh, trophy like trout, 30 pounds. They do get bigger than this, guys. So you saw how much that one fought, fought me on this 20, 20, 24, 25 pound setup. So yeah, be, be in for a fight, though. All right. If you guys will excuse me, I'm going to go get my headphones. I will open the menu so you guys can listen to some music, I guess, if that's what it is, a theme.
Alright guys, I'm sorry about that. I had to get my headphone charger. I'm back now. Alright, um, I'm going to turn off my, my mic, and if I think of anything else I need to tell you guys, I will let you know. Thank you. This actually might be a unique, guys, because the unique, the tension kind of goes up and down, like, very quickly, like, as you guys can see how he's doing. The bars are going up and down, so this might be a unique. I'm not sure, though. Sorry, I also forgot to mention that you guys are going to want a advanced license to fish here if you guys are going to want to keep those trophies and unique, those trophy and unique lake trouts because any trophy or unique fish you have to put back if you have the basic one. Kind of sucks. I know it's more expensive, but it's it kind of pays for itself. I'm here, buddy. Unique lake trout, 44 pounds. So, yeah. They do get bigger than 40 pounds. I was completely wrong. Wow. It's a, 
actually really nice trout. That's a nice fish. Now, I am pretty sure that there is another type of lure that works. I'm not- I don't think it catches uniques, I only think it gets trophies and normal lake trouts, but it's these single spoons. And they might have a barbless option for the single spoons? Let me look. Oh, uh, well, I, I think they do, but they're not at the lake, so I'm gonna throw in a single spoon here. And see if that works too, because... That actually might work too, I'm not sure. Yep, as you guys can see, the single spins do work. So that's another possible lure option for you guys. Now after I get this fish and I want to switch to my galaxy casting setup, so... Yeah. It's giving me a little bit more strength on the fish. Little tip, you guys can hold the Q button and use your mouse reel to th scroll through all your rods. There's Galaxy, Galaxy Cast, and if you press Z, it works also the same way for all your lures, and if you're using a float rod and you press Z, it also works for your baits also. So that way you don't have to go into the menu and take the I don't know if I already mentioned this, but with the single spoons, if you're looking for uniques, you're going to want to use the medium spoons, not single spoons. I don't know if it's just a bug in the game, or if the you unique fish don't like to bite on the single spoons, but they will not hit a single spoon. So, if you're fishing for uniques, your best option is that 1.5 ounce medium spoon for a uh, That's what I always use.
with all your presentations or your retrieves, you're going to, you're going to want to keep your lure or try and keep your lure in the middle as best you can, the middle of the wa water column, because that's where all the trout are located. They just kind of like to be in the middle. But that'll be kind of hard if you're, if you're doing stop and go, because it'll gradually sink. But once it hits the water, just start reeling. It'll slowly sink to the middle. If it doesn't, or if it doesn't do it immediately, it'll just slowly sink. Yeah, but the middle seems to be the sweet spot with these fish, so I don't know. Another 12 pound lake trout. With stop and go, you're going to want to reel in in 5 feet, or hold on, let me see, yeah, about 5 feet each, so each little burst you're going to want to reel in 5 feet. Wow, that was like instant. Trophy Splake, that's what I haven't seen before. Hmm, that's nice. Now, it, see, it seems like with these lake trout, once you catch the first one, like the first one or two, then they all start to bite. Like, it, it must activate some sensor in the game that just... It's insane how quick these fish bite sometimes. But I seem to be having my best luck with this twitching presentation, so I'm going to stick with that.
Alright guys, I'm going to catch one more lake trout, maybe one or two more, and then I'm going to call it a night. I'm gonna see why these fish are bit biting. Oh, it's because I'm not at peak time. Okay, that makes sense. All right, so I'm gonna switch it to 5 p.m. now. No, I don't want. No, I don't want that rod. All right, press T to skip time and go to 5 p.m. Another trophy's flake. Oh god, this fish is running. Okay. What are you?
I'm here, buddy. Hmm. And there it goes running again. Come here. No, don't you lose my intention, you. Dude, I have a 30 pound rod. What in the hell are you? What size fish is this? Oh my god, it's splashing up there like a freaking whale. Oh my god. There we go, got him. Unique leg trout, another 44 pounder. It's a nice fish. Alright guys, I think I'm going to call it a night here. Now, I just want to thank you guys for a thousand, a thousand six hundred views on my Amazonian maze video. Thank you for 32 subscribers. And I want you guys to remember that your feedback is crucial to, de to the development of my channel. So if you guys want to see any specific fishing, fishing planet guides, then I am perfectly fine with doing that. So if you have any suggestions, just leave them in the comments, and I will try my best to read them. Like and subscribe, share this with your friends, and thank you. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.